raised in Washington, D.C. I'm the oldest daughter of my mom and dad, who are now both deceased. I was a pretty sad little girl. Home to me was not peaceful. My house was in turmoil. My dad went to work every day. He was a very good provider. Loved my dad with all my heart. But my dad was also a working alcoholic. My father drank every day. Drank very hard on the weekends. So I never knew what I was going to run across as a child. One day, the father that I loved, but I hated at the same time, pulled a machete on me and tried to kill me. He chased me through the house. So I ran into the bathroom, then I heard him going the other way. And then I tried to hold the other door. Can you imagine this 13 year old standing there trying to keep the man who's supposed to love her out of the room. So much damage had been done. So I wound up looking for love in all the wrong places like a lot of young women. I just needed to be needed, needed to be desired, needed to be wanted. So I put myself out there so many times. I just played Russian roulette with, with my body. I lost my virginity very early. I wound up sleeping with a guy who was double my age. He was 26 years old. At 26 years old, when I was 13, this gentleman told me one day, I want you to go out and sleep with the guys that are in the living room. I thank God that I had enough sense, even in my being naive, that I said no. I was actually diagnosed with severe depression and anxiety. And I'm so glad that I had the mind not to bring a child in the world when I needed healing. I spent years going to counseling. That was just another thing that the enemy used to make fear a part of my norm. Fear keeps you from whatever it is you're supposed to do. So I spent many years after that trying to get past that feeling of fear. The doctor came in, no expression, just matter of fact, he's like, oh, well, your, your body is miscarrying the baby, so you're gonna lose the baby, and you walked out the room. I said, no, I will not. I said, I lost my childhood, I lost my adolescence. I lost my years as a teen. I lost my years as a young woman. I will not lose this child. And I prayed to God in a way that day that I don't think I ever had before. Well, that next day when I woke up, the bleeding had completely stopped. And from that moment on, my life started to change. I have overcome more in my 55 years than most people have dealt with in a lifetime. But God in his grace and mercy kept me through all of that. He kept me through all of that. I share what I went through to show other people that you can't get through.